us walking side by side. Yes, yeah, the devil. Yes, we was walking side by side. He said, I gotta feed that woman before I can ever be satisfied. Don't see why I should let a dog run around. Must be that evil spirit way down in the ground. He said he don't see why I should always let that woman dog run around. Must be that evil spirit. and we're going to put together a blues in A. First of all, let's take a look at the chord structure. Of course, we have A. We play a long A with a bar on the second fret, four strings, and then the little finger on the sixth string. This very easily turns into A7. Then, of course, we have D7, but I don't play the full D7. Uh, Robert Johnson kind of played a half D7 where you play the bass and you damp the bass with your thumb and put some pull-off and hammer-ons on the fifth string. We'll look at this in more detail a little bit later on. So we'll use this half D7 chord E And then we'll use some half chords high up on the fretboard. We'll look at these in more detail later on as well. So basically we have A, D7, and E. 
we have a blues. But how do we turn these three chords into a blues? That's the tricky part. Well, as for the blues in E, we're only going to hit one bass at a time. That is to say, a monotonic bass. And we're going to damp it mostly with our thumb. So if we put an A chord on, now sometimes if I'm not playing the sixth string, I won't even bother putting my little finger on there. I'll just put the bar across. So we have our basic beat. Sometimes we double the beat. Make it into a heartbeat. So when we play the A, we're hitting the second string with our thumb. Now when we go to the D7, we're going to hit the bass string with our thumb. Sometimes we'll hit two strings, sometimes we hit that bass string so hard that the next string just vibrates in unison with it. Sometimes to make it more interesting, instead of just hitting the bass string on D7, we'll drop the thumb down to the first fret and then back up again in this way. Or lift it off altogether. Down to the first. It all adds to the interest. Then we move to E. E7. Back to the D7 again. And then back to E. I'm sorry, A. So the basic blues we're going to play sounds a little like this. Me and the devil We're walking side by side Back to A. And then D7 again. Me and the devil We're walking side by side Down to E. Good morning, Mr. Satan. E7. D7. We can't be satisfied. Of course, there's a little bit more to it. We want to vamp on the bass strings mostly when we're singing because it's too difficult to play anything complicated at the same time. But after we sing, we're going to fill in with some things. For example, we start on A. Woke up this morning in D7. Blues are on my mind. And on A, we may do something like this. Woke up this morning. Just to give you an example of the kind of thing we're going to look at. We're going to try and fit in the little subtleties that the bluesmen use to make their music more interesting. Give it lots of soul, lots of emotion. These little things that they just throw away. But make such a great big difference. Often the blues song started with an introduction, which is a variation on the verse. So we'll look at the introduction first. And then we'll see how that is changed just a little bit so that we can sing along with it. Also, I transcribed an instrumental break in between the verses. Later on, we'll also look at how we're going to sing along with this music. Let's take a look at the tablature now. Best of luck. With this clip, as you slide up the fretboard, you can see from the instruction, the close-up, that I'm hitting these two strings with my first finger. I'm hitting both of them together. At the same time, my thumb is hitting the bass strings, the two bass strings together. 
and then down again. Take time to get this technique because it's very effective. Of course, if you wanted to use two fingers, then it's up to you. This rundown on the long A is really is a Robert Johnson signature movement. It's got a lovely feel to it. We take the fifth fret on the fourth string and we run down. chord first of all we hit the fourth string with our finger and then we hammer on and as we hammer on we hit the bass string it sounds like this back to the root chord, the A chord, we have a chance to boogie while we sing. Of course if you prefer you can just hit both those strings together with your thumb in this way, remembering to damp. This little filling based on the A chord is very simple but very effective just after you finish to sing the first line. Woke up this morning Devil walking like a man Here again we have this very interesting hammer and pull-off arrangement on the D7 chord.
mágica. As you slide at the neck with this inverted D shape, you're going to hit the bases quite hard, damping them, and give it a lot of attack, give some vibrato, put some emotion into it. This is a nice simple bass drum, but it gives it a lot of power and a counterbalance to the high strings. I'll include three verses with the tablature printout that you receive with this video. Let's take a, a little look at how we're going to start singing with this kind of blues. We're going to come back to A after the turnaround. So for example we're playing D7. We start to run down A at the end of the verse, E7, and then we start to sing as we come back to A. Me and the devil. So I may uh, play like this. Me and the devil. Or I may play like this. Me and the devil. Then to D7. We're walking side by side. And back to the A. And then I'll fill in. D7. Me and the devil, we're walking side by side. Good morning, Mr. Satan. We 
can't be satisfied Woke up this morning Devil walked in like a man Woke up this morning Devil walked in like a man Good morning, Mr. Satan People don't understand Have a great time.